Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Illustrator. I'm using 221, but this could be for 220, 219, etc. And the object mosaic command. You can create a lovely mosaic design. Now, personally, it doesn't particularly look like a mosaic, not certainly like an old Roman mosaic at all. However, what you can do, let's just go through it. So you've got this image, and it could be any image. It could be an image of text. It could be loads of different designs. What you can do, just go to object, and then down to object, Mosaic, create object mosaic, no less. Don't know why I put create in front of it, under just object mosaic. So select that. So you've got that there. And you'll see we've got you've got size. Now you can set the size. This is a slight odd feature. It's a sort of resize feature as well. Sadly, there's no preview. I'm not certain why they've left a preview off, but they obviously haven't. What you can do, you can put 4,000 by 5,000. You can reset it to a different size. You can make it smaller as well. So you can turn around and say, you know what? I want the image to be a bit smaller. So let's go for a thousand by a thousand. So you can just resize it. Now, obviously that's gonna slightly change things, but what you can also do, you can have space in between the tiles. Now there are limits. This thing will just say, it will beep. It will let you know when you can't have the size that you want. So if you put 500, the space in between it, it will turn around, beep, something like that. Maybe not exactly like that. But you could put like 20. <laughs> exactly like that though. Eight points. It will just let it will let you know. So eight points. And also you can vary this. So you can set the number of tiles, say 20. You don't have to have them equal. Now weirdly for Illustrator, because quite a lot of times there are, there's a, a link feature. Well there isn't here. I'm not certain why. This whole filter just seems to be slightly odd. It doesn't sort of fit the conventional sort of command you get with Illustrator. You can set those, and you've also got the ratio, constraint ratio to weight, width, or height. Now, personally, I'm not fussed either way. Just do something. So go with gray. I'm gonna go with gray. So I'm gonna turn it into a gray scale image. Now I could do that beforehand if I wanted to as well. Also, you can resize using percentages. I'm not gonna use that, but if you set that, you can see it goes to 100 there and 100. So you can set it to say, like uh, 200. Personally, just, I want to use what I want to use. So a thousand by a thousand. Go with that. And also you can delete the raster. You don't have to delete the raster. You could leave it there. So you could, you know, maybe do it again. Just apply this again if you wanted to. You can also use the ratio. And it will click there and it will do the ratio based on this. The ratio here, I think it's 10 by 6. It will just set it as 10 by 6. So once you've done that, click OK. And then you get this design which you may not want. So if you can always undo, always undo, and you can always go there again, object, create, object, mosaic, and you maybe just go with what, the actual size. You don't have to, have, it's a bit confusing there, new size. Well, it's just the size, not, because it's obviously at the moment, it's exactly the same as the old size. But I'm gonna set it maybe so it's a bit easier, 10 and 10. And also some uh, grouting, let's go for, and it will, uh, just doesn't like obviously but you can set it higher I've, I've found so but they're eight and eight and color this time and you can see you now get a color design obviously what it happens it uses the underlying image the colors at each of those points so you sort of averages it out you can see the average result is this now what happens let's just oh I'm not going to do another one but you can see the design there but you can go to object menu and ungroup. So with that ungrouped, you can then move them. You don't have to keep them in the exact same position. Personally, I have never done that. I've always loved to mess around with it. And you can just move them. Just randomly move the position. And of course, if you don't want those, you can always remove tiles. So you see, oh, you know what? So there, got the white one selected there. What you can do, select, same, fill and stroke. And delete. Though to be honest, they look quite white as well, but I suspect they might be slightly not. Anyway, it got most of them. And that one looks fairly white, but maybe it's like white or something, it's like one percent. Now you got that design. Well, what you can do, of course, you can recolor the design as well. So you can always go to let's go to edit menu, edit colors, and you maybe go for recolor with preset or recolor artwork. Just select that. You can just change it. Let's just tweak it and change. 
go for the green, and so on and so on. So you can vary in numerous ways, or not. And you can always undo. Object, you can now go to, and you can of course apply various effects as well. So obviously you can recolor as well via just color balance as well. That's another option. Now what you can also do, you can of course use this maybe in a pattern design. Or maybe use this with envelope distort, so make with warp. So you can create some very weird, so near enough like a building sort of thing, strip, turn it around. So you've got that sort of design, the bulge design there, or arc. Whole range of different designs can be done with that. And again, there's still, you can always undo, of course. You can also go to the effects, maybe go by a blur, Gaussian blur. Now, of course, the Gaussian blur is going to be applied to all of this design, probably be quite slow. Let's go for it. Oh, reasonably fast. You can see you can apply it with that, and you can continue to manipulate the design. And of course, always you can also go like that. You can you can also, if you want to, just go over here. And now, of course, this doesn't look so great because I've only gone for about like 10 by 10, but maybe went for 20 by 20 or 30 by 30. You'd have a lot more sort of squares and rectangles to work with. Well, you can also go over here to the direct, and you just move that around. You can select a different point. Let's just select one of the points. And you can change that, select that point, and you can tweak it. So you can just create all kinds of different designs that way. Also, you can select all of them, and you can go to Effect, Stylize, and Drop Shadow. So you can add a drop shadow. Maybe not seven, but maybe 20. So a bit, bit. Click OK. So you can see you can create all kinds of different designs with this mosaic effect. And of course, you can always duplicate it. You can always, of course, Keep the original. So what you can do, just let's go back. Let's go all the way back. Let's bring everything back all the way. Maybe it's best just to keep a copy, of course, or just not delete it. Well, that's what I'm just going to do. So you can just duplicate and then just go over here and object, create object mosaic. And this time I'm going to go with 10 by 10. Like there. And I've got this one. And I can, of course, I could have. Uh, just click the do not delete the raster, just keep the raster image. Then just go to object, object mosaic, and I say delete raster. You can always turn it off. That's probably better in some ways. But I'm just going to turn it off now. And you can vary that. Maybe make it 20. Click OK. And you can see you can create a different design. So you've got that design. Oh, there's that one over there. Maybe go with another one. I'm just going to remove that out of the way. So I've got, I want to do that got this selected. I want the whole thing selected. So you've got this mosaic. And now what you can do, of course, is you can always go up here to Pasty, click here, and you've got here normal color burn. You can see you can create a variety of different things, maybe difference, maybe not. Lighten and so on and so on. And you can always move the design around or maybe rotate the design. So you can see you can create an interesting combination of things or maybe go to various, let's just go to effect, Distort there, free to distort there. You can nicely distort the design as well. Click OK. And you can see you can create a variety of different designs like that. And you can still sort of. Now, of course, what you could do, and that is a possible thing, without doing all those things. I've got that original image, of course. You've got this. Uh, let's just move that over top. You've got it on top. Well, what you can do, you can do opacity, of course. Select there and just go down to maybe lighten. And you can see you can get quite an interesting combination result there. So you don't have to have obviously the other ones. So you can create a bit of a shimmery sort of unusual effect on top of that with an image. And of course, another thing, you don't have to, of course, apply the object mosaic to everything. So what do you want? Just got this original image here. Let's just get rid of this one now. So you've got this design. What you can do, you can always use crop image. So crop image. Just go up here and then just crop there. If I do that, probably helps. Duplicate it. That's what I wanted to do. Duplicate it. So you've got hold down the alter option key, duplicate, and then go to crop image. Unfortunately, there's no feature of keep the old one. We nice actually if it did. You can crop it. So you get that there, and then apply. So you've got this design, and it's obviously slightly smaller. Well, what you can do, you can go to Object, 
object mosaic. And again, you've got no preview, unfortunately, and maybe I'm not going to go for that much. So 10 by 10. It doesn't have to be, I always go for that, but it could be 5 by 20. Then you've got your mosaic effect on top of that, and you can see you've got that design there. And again, you can always select that. You can always go to opacity, and you've got maybe overlay, and you can apply different effects that way. And you can see you can create some interesting, sort of unusual designs like that. And if you, you can turn it around, rotate it. You don't have to keep it completely in the same position. Or maybe use another one. Or change the opacity as well. Reduce that down. Go for lighten. Darken. And so on and so on. To create some very unusual effects. Well, I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always any new tutorials about Illustrator, Photoshop, and many other applications as well. If you've got any questions, any comments about what I've done, and things that I did wrong in this, please let me know in the comments. Always appreciated. Also, a dislike or like. Also appreciated as well. Thank you much.